track there, but I think I answered the question. Yep, yep. Uh, a couple of more questions there, are there Mark. Uh, here, Fred Iobs, I think, he says, can other practices like yoga help to relax the body more so than just standing? Please explain a little more detail. Okay. Now, yoga is an interesting thing. Uh, I'm not a practitioner myself, but I have treated many people that have been practitioners. Uh, often they do the wrong kind of yoga for their age. And, uh, they have a run into problems. Um, but yes, of course it can do that. Uh, I found, though, and this is really honest uh, observation of people uh, over the last 20, 30 years, is that Western bodies aren't really meant for all the contortions that can be done. And some of this stuff actually creates more problem than they help. Now, if you have a teacher and you, it's just like with Tai Chi. Let's say the teacher can do a movement and their arm come almost completely straight out. But if you do that, your shoulder rises. And then this is no good. So you have to do it in a modified way until your tissue in the back opens up, for instance. So this is the same with yoga. If a teacher uh, put you in a position and, and modify that position and let you open up gradually, then this can have benefit. But oftentimes we try to mimic a teacher so much that we end up not doing it quite so right. Okay? So if you think about it, with yoga, you put your leg wide apart or you sit in the, in the, in the lotus position, and this is stretching, physically stretching. When you do the stand, the stretching still occurs, but it occurs way more internally. But these muscles do loosen up. And that brings me to an effect here. Let me go to this particular stance here that I have right here. Um, this is a narrow stance, and standing very tall, working with the upper dantian mostly here, but also refining the center line and allowing it to become very, very narrow so that almost like a little thin filament. So if someone push on you, they think you're pushing your center, but it goes into emptiness. Well, you didn't move. All you just Eventually, you can move your intention to your left or right channel, and you can gain that. But what I wanted to point out here, and you really can't see it because it's all black uh, there in the pants, is that a certain hollowness, there's a certain shape of the qua that begins to develop in people that have done this correctly for many, many years. All the, all the uh, a lot of the Chen Chao, not Chen Chao Wan, the other one, the fellow that's, I can't think of the names. Anyway. Uh, there's numerous examples on uh, YouTube and like that where you'll see this kind of hollowness in the qua. And this hollowness in the qua is signifying that all these muscles have opened up. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be able to do the splits because that's taking certain external muscles and you know, working them further. But this allows in the movements that we do all the flexibility you would ever need. Okay. Uh, so I hope this uh, explain a little bit. Like I say, I've found that yoga has caused people more problems than has helped them. But that's that's just the people that I've run into, you know, because they've had problems and they need to be fixed. So, uh, but if it works for you, it's it's. I think it's also a state of consciousness, a temperament. Uh, my temperament was always much more for the uh, Chinese internal arts, Zhang Guo. Okay.